kids, it's me again, Time Traveling Thomas. And it's me, Carl! Ooh, Yay! Yeah! It's so good to see you guys again. So good. So good! So good! <laughs> so today we're going to go um, back to the sixth day of creation. Sixth day. Yeah, day six. and there's no time to waste. You guys ready to go? Let's, let's just do this. No more talk. Little less talk. Little more action. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's, do let's do it. All right, let's get this time machine ready. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> yes. I think we've arrived. I think we've arrived. Hey, yeah. What's up? What's up, Carl? What's up? What's up, Carl? What's up? Whoa. Uh, wait a second. Whoa. So, on the sixth day, God said, let the land produce living creatures according to their kinds. The livestock, the creatures that move along the ground, the wild animals, each according to its kind. And it was so. God made the wild animals according to their kinds, the livestock according to their kinds, and all the creatures that move along the ground according to their kinds. And God saw that it was good. Are you saying on the sixth day God created creepy, crawly creatures? No. Fun, adventurous, awesome creatures. That are creepy and crawly? No. That are fun and exciting. It's... On the sixth day did God create... Dinosaurs! Did you just say dinosaur? A time-traveling Thomas? Yeah. Did you hear that? What is that? It sounds like really big footsteps. Oh man, what's coming? I hope it's not a dinosaur! Well, I know Whoa. you're a dinosaur. What are you doing here? Whoa. What's he doing What's here? What's he doing here? Well, of course I'm here. God oh. created me and all the other dinosaurs and all the other creatures on Earth and even the wing birds and, and, and even the sea monsters, believe it or not. And God created all of us and he thinks that he, like, he really digs us. Wow, he really has a lot of words. Yeah, and, but remember, Carl, we just read that, that God created all these creatures and, and he called them good. Yes, that's right. God called us good because in the beginning, all dinosaurs were good. You know, they make movies about us now, now that we're extinct. Hold on really quick. He really does talk a lot. He, he does. <laughs> but it's okay, I guess, because God says that he's good. Yeah. Yes, I am good. And here's the thing, like I was saying, like they make a lot of movies about us dinosaurs so we get a bad rap. But in the beginning, we actually existed not to eat humans, but to serve them. In fact, hold on, please stop Whoa. talking. Would he, will he just stop talking? <laughs> He's got so much to say. So much. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, but wait, th th that's close enough. Stop getting closer. You might be a good dinosaur, but I still don't trust him. Oh, I, I, I kind of trust him. I don't. Oh, I do. Okay. <laughs> nice dinosaur. Nice dinosaur. Now, here's the interesting thing. Before there were airplanes, there were pterodactyls. And before there were automobiles, there were raptors. Isn't this a crazy thought? Wow. That we actually were created by God to serve mankind. Again, not to eat mankind. Dinosaurs were initially good. And when God restores everything and the restoration of all things, and the new Jerusalem comes down and kisses, that is enough! He will not stop talking! But everything he's sharing is so beautiful. He's like the revelatory dinosaur. 
He really is. Well, that's because my middle name is Ryan, and Ryan means revelation. I don't think that's what Ryan really means. <laughs> it could it could mean that. Uh, I, I, I'm really enjoying all of this beautiful news that you're sharing with us, uh, Darwin. It's, this, is, this is amazing. Kids, uh, isn't this amazing, kids? I have a question for you guys. Would you be willing to take me back with you in the time machine back to your realm? Because I really think that what the world needs now is more dinosaurs. And I know it might bum people out, but what do you think? Could I bring you, can, can you bring me back with you in the time machine? You bet, Darwin. I don't see any problem with that at all. Not at all. I think dinosaurs would be celebrated back on back at our time in space. I agree. Yeah. All right, come on, Ryan the Revelatory Dinosaur. Get into our time machine. Oh, kids, we're going to be coming back to your classroom, and we're going to bring this big, crazy dinosaur with us. I'm not actually that crazy. I'm actually quite smart. <laughs> and I got some really good words to say. That is enough. <laughs> but, uh, hey, let's go to Moses for the blessing. Bye-bye, kids. Bye, kids. We're, we're going to send the dinosaur into your classroom. It's going to be crazy. Miss Emily is going to be so thankful. Woohoo! See you in a little bit. See you, kids. Now I want to bless you. So hold out your hands in front of you and close your eyes. Here we go. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he shine his face upon you. May he be gracious to you and turn his face towards you and give you peace. Shalom. All right, kids, time to take our friend Darwin and Carl. We're all going to go back in our time machine and see you back in your classroom. You're going to love 2022. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, and you're going to love ice cream. Ooh, are you excited for ice cream? Yes, I am really excited for ice cream. I don't even know what it is, but I like to scream. Ah, that right. is enough. Be quiet. Well, let's go back and get let's get Darwin some ice cream. Let's right. let's come. Let's bring the dinosaur back. All right. Let's prep this time machine. Here we go. All right. That should be good. All right. Ready, Darwin? Hold on. Hold on tight. <gasps> ah! Wah, wah, wah. Ah. Ah, I can't feel my legs! Wah, 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 wah. Oh, made it. 